Hello, I'm Stormwind instructor and Cybex author, William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to encrypt a hard drive using BitLocker on a Windows 10 Enterprise system. Now, at the time that this video was created, there are four current versions of Windows 10. Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Enterprise, and Windows 10 Education. I'm going to show you some of the features of each one of these versions and then I'm going to show you how to encrypt your hard drive by using BitLocker. So let's go ahead and start with Windows 10 securing your hardware. Now as I said there are four versions of Windows 10. Home, Pro, Enterprise and Education. All four versions have the ability to do encryption for a device. Only Home Pro and Enterprise can either join a domain, manage a group policy, use BitLocker, which is what we're going to do in this video, use Enterprise Mode Internet Explorer, assign access 8.1, remote desktop, and Hyper-V. Only Enterprise and Education can do Direct Access, Windows to Go Creator, App Locker, Branch Cache, and Start Screen Control with a Group Policy. So, the first thing we need to talk about is what is BitLocker? BitLocker is the ability to encrypt a physical drive so that if that drive is stolen or taken out of your system, it can't be booted up or used in another machine. Now, to use BitLocker, you have a choice to either use a thing called Trusted Platform Module or not use TPM. Now, TPM is an actual chip. Microsoft first included it with Windows Vista and Server 2008. But there's a chip that is put on hard drives, Excuse me, there's a chip that's put on motherboards for systems today, laptops, surfers. If that chip is put into your motherboard, TPM can be enabled on that motherboard. TPM is a microchip that provides a basic security level on hardware. And BitLocker can work with TPM on the motherboard. But you also have the ability to use BitLocker on a system that's not using TPM. For example, in our video here, we're going to be using BitLocker on a Windows 10 Enterprise system that is created on Hyper-V. Because this is a Hyper-V system, I'm not using TPM. Now, if you need to either enable or disable TPM, you can do that right through a group policy setting. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. So let's go ahead and go out to our Windows 10 Enterprise System. Now right now, if I go to the drive, if I click on my C drive, so let me open this up and I go to this PC. If I click on the C drive, right click, and say turn on BitLocker, I will get an error. Because I don't have TPM turned on on the motherboard. So let me show you how to turn that off. What you do is you got to actually open up the local group policy editor. And you do that by just opening a run box. You can do that by hitting the Windows key and the letter R at the same time. And then you type in gpedit.msc. Now, once you do that, you're going to open up the local group policy editor. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this a little bit, make it easier for you to see. Now, you're going to have two sections here, the computer configuration and the user configuration. We're going to go to the computer configuration. We're going to go to administrative templates, so we're going to expand that. And then we're going to expand Windows components. Under Windows components, you'll see we have BitLock drive encryption. We're going to expand that and we're going to choose operating system drives. Then we're going to choose 
The third option that says require additional authentication at startup. By double clicking that, we're going to hit enable and we're going to make sure the little checkbox here that says allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM is checked. I'm going to say OK. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead. Now that this is enabled, so as long as you now see that it's enabled, I'm going to close it down. I'm going to right click on my drive and I'm going to say turn on BitLocker. And now it's going to go through, it's going to verify some system settings, and then it's going to start encrypting the drive. Now at this point, when the drive starts up, it's going to need something to help this drive start up. You can either set a password on the system so that when the machine boots up, you have to put in a password, or you can set up a external flash drive, and as long as that flash drive is in, the system will boot. I'm going to go ahead and set up a password. Now you want to make sure that this password is pretty secure. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a password. And I'm going to make it pretty secure because again, I don't want, if anybody steals this, I don't want anybody being able to figure out this passcode. So I'm going to say next. Now it's going to ask me, where do I want to back up my recovery key? Now the recovery key is a file that you need in case you lose that passcode. Now for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and save this to a file. And when I save it to a file, I got to put it on a drive, any drive other than the one I'm encrypting. I cannot put it on the C drive because that's the drive I'm encrypting. If I do, I'll get an error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on my E drive. So I'll go ahead and create a new folder on my E drive and I'm going to call it just BitLocker Recovery. And I'm going to open that up. And that's where I'm going to save my recovery key. Then I'm going to say next. Now at this point, it's going to ask me, am I ready to run BitLocker and do a check? So I'm going to hit continue. Now the encryption is going to begin. I'm not going to be able to see anything on this drive right now, even showing me that this drive is encrypted until I actually reboot the system. If I right click, I'm not going to see anything that has to do with BitLocker. Now also, you can get the BitLocker by going into the control panel. And when you go in the control panel, you can click on BitLock Drive Encryption. This also tells you which drives are encrypted and allows you to make changes. But if I click on this, it should tell me that a restart is required. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to restart this drive, this system. Now to do that, i got to show you a different view because Right now we're in the system. I'm going to show you my view from Hyper-V so you can see it reboot. So let me change my view. Now we're looking at it from the actual Hyper-V side. So because I'm remoted in, I can't shut down the system here. It won't allow me to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this off. I'm going to go into Hyper-V and I'm going to open it up from Hyper-V. So this is the same exact system. So let me log in. And this is the exact same system where we just encrypted the C drive. Again, if I go out to my control panel and go to BitLocker, it'll still tell me that I need a reboot. So it's the same system. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to restart this system. Now when this system restarts, and it reboots, it's going to ask me for that password that I assigned it at the time I encrypted the drive. So 
So now it needs the BitLocker password that I put in. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in the password that I created. Hit enter. And as long as it's the correct password, my system will now boot up. Now if I put in a password that wasn't correct, it wouldn't even allow me to go any further. It would ask me again for the password. So this way if someone steals your drive and tries to boot that drive up in any other system, it won't work unless they know your passcode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remote back into this system because it, gets, it gives us a better view if I can remote into it. So let me remote into the system. So it's just logging me in. Same user account as I was logged into before I did the encryption. I'm going to go ahead and enable my Wirecast so this way you can actually see. It'll give me a better view here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the view. So this way you have a better clean view on the actual operating system. Okay, so now there's different ways I can actually play with and work with this uh, C BitLocker on the C drive. I can click on the actual Windows Explorer and I can go into the Explorer, click on the drive, right click, and here I have some BitLocker options. I can change the password. I can manage BitLocker. Or I can actually go into my control panel and go into BitLocker inside the control panel. And at this point I can remove the BitLocker, change the passcode, but it shows that this drive is now locked by using BitLocker. And on the E drive is this is where I stuck my recovery code. So if for some reason I forget my passcode, most likely I would print this out. This is the recovery key. I would print this out, this piece of paper, stick it someplace where I know I could get to it. And if I need to, where I can't log in using my password because I forget it, it'll ask me for my recovery key at that point I could put this number in and I could recover my password so that I could still use this hard drive even if I lose the password. But if you don't have a spot where this recovery key file is where you can get to it, print it out, keep it in a folder someplace, you can have a very hard time recovering the drive that is BitLocked encrypted. Now BitLocker also comes with a second version of BitLocker called BitLocker to Go. And BitLocker to Go will allow you to encrypt removable drives like thumb drives or removable hard drives. So you can also use BitLocker to Go if you would like to encrypt different portable drives. I hope this video helped you see how easy it is to lock down a hard drive by, be, by using BitLocker on a Windows 10 Enterprise system. Again, if you're not using TPM, make sure you go into the local group policies, enable the policy so that you don't have to use TPM, and this way you can still use BitLocker. But if your motherboard is TPM compatible, the more preferable way is to just enable TPM on the motherboard and use BitLocker from that point on. 
I am Stormwind Instructor and Cybex author William Panic, and I hope this video on Windows 10 Enterprise BitLocker helped you out. And I look forward to seeing you in a Stormwind class real soon. Thanks for watching.